making what's traditionally a sombre place a little more beautiful. This Otago Heritage Roses Working Bee are hard at work ensuring a number of rare roses within the city's northern cemetery are looked after. And member Fran Rawling says it's important work, with the cemetery one of international significance. It's the only garden cemetery, Victorian garden cemetery, that's left in the southern hemisphere. And as far as we know, there's not many left in the North Island either. So being a Victorian garden cemetery, it was actually designed to be a garden and to be used as well as be a cemetery. The discovery of several rare roses sparked the beginning of the project. Now the site is home to over a thousand varieties, some of which are the only ones of their kind in New Zealand. And Rowling says it's important there's people who are dedicated to maintaining and growing the collection. We come in and we, our members look after the roses. There's about 80 members in Otago and we come in and we prune, we fertilise, we take out the dead wood and just keep the roses in top-notch condition. Those involved in the working bee learn as they go, expanding their gardening knowledge while learning about the history of the cemetery. And Rawling says as more work is done to beautify the area, it's the wider community who benefits. When we first came here there was a lot of vandalism in the cemetery um, through caring for the roses and keeping them in top condition. We've noticed that the vandalism has decreased. We've also noticed that a lot more people are using the cemetery as a, a walking venue or a, it's almost like a park. The working bee gathers once a month to ensure the garden is maintained, giving the public and members alike the chance to learn more about the cemetery's history while showing off their green thumb. Ruby McAndrew, 39, Dunedin News.